just days into his reign, the monarch is already giving due consideration to the key question of whether to confirm Archie and Lilibet, the Sussex's children, as prince and princess respectively, Jonathan Sacerdote suggested. The king made no mention of either of his grandchildren in his address to the nation on Saturday evening, two days after the death of his mother Queen Elizabeth II. However, he did announce he was passing his Prince of Wales title to his son William, hence confirming him as heir to the throne. The general understanding is that Archie and Lilibet automatically became prince and princess respectively, in accordance with a proclamation by King George V in 1917 known as the Letters Patent which related to matters concerning the succession. However, the king has not yet put anything in writing, and asked whether he would do so, Mr. Sassardotti told Express. Co.uk, I think we'll have to wait and see for that. I think if he is doing that, now is not the time has going to do so. King Charles faces a dilemma over Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, said Mr. Sassardotti, image, Getty, Meghan Markle speaks to a child at Windsor on Saturday, image, Getty, and I think probably has thinking about how to tackle this sensitive problem. Mr. Sassardotti explained, it is from what I understand automatic that Harry and Meghan's children should become prince and princess but that has not been reflected the last I know on the official website showing the line of succession, whereas the prince and princess of Wales have been updated to be William and Kate. I think that even with that though, when challenged or asked about it, the palace, sort of sidestepped it a bit and said that that will be updated as information comes in. Read more, Charles fights tears as he leads emotional vigil royal family live, Meghan Markle's outfit causes stir as insane Mike Theory slapped down Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, received a generally warm reaction from the crowd as she made her way down the line of adoring fans outside Windsor Castle. A wild theory soon emerged that Meghan was wearing a recording device underneath her dress, with some speculating she could have been recording the moment for her upcoming Netflix documentary. The rumor was later slapped down by an insider. Read more on Express. Co.uk's live blog here. Queen Elizabeth II died on Thursday, image, Getty, he said, I think that it's too soon to read it as a snub or a policy decision. I think the updating of Prince and Princess of Wales was necessary because that's far more constitutionally important and it is not automatic that the heir to the throne would be the Prince of Wales unless the monarch makes them the Prince of Wales as I understand that, although I'm not a constitutional law expert. So I think that it was appropriate that Charles mentioned it. He was passing on the title to his son, who is now the heir apparent and I think that was then reflected in the website on the website because he said it. Don't Miss Sea of Flowers continues to grow outside Sandringham House, insight William motion to Meghan spotted in very poignant moment, article Monarch vows to faithfully follow Queen's example of selfless duty, video, Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor, pictured as a baby in 2019, image, Getty, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born last year, image, Reuters, during his speech, the king had only mentioned Harry and Meghan to voice his love for them and wish them well as they continued to build their lives abroad. Mr. Sassardotti said, he didn't say anything about Harry and Meghan having titles for their children and I don't think whoever the webmaster of the palace is, would have been right to second guess it and so I think I'll wait and see on that one. But I do think that King Charles has a big dilemma here to solve because he now has, more than ever, to balance the needs of being a father with the needs of being the monarch. So far the king had not put a foot wrong in his various speeches and pronouncements, Mr. Sassardotti stressed. Queen Elizabeth's journey from Scotland to Westminster, image, express, he continued, his most obvious is most obvious challenges in that respect are to do with his history of making statements about political or other issues that would be seen as not appropriate for a monarch to make, and also family struggles, such as those he has with his son, Harry and his daughter-in-law, Meghan Markle. 
I think those are the most obvious challenges that he'll have to face. The Queen was very good at keeping a poker face really about what she thought on politics, but she had to tackle many family issues, and she can be an example to him of how to balance the needs of dealing with controversy surrounding her children and the needs of being the monarch. I think she always played it perfectly. And I think we should give King Charles the opportunity to show that he can do the same. Queen Elizabeth II, pictured with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, image, Getty, trending addressing the nation on Saturday, two days after his mother's death, King Charles said, Queen Elizabeth's was a life well lived, a promise with destiny kept and she is mourned most deeply in her passing. That promise of lifelong service I renew to you all today. As the Queen herself did with such unswerving devotion, I too now solemnly pledge myself, throughout the remaining time God grants me, to uphold the constitutional principles at the heart of our nation. My life will of course change as I take up my new responsibilities. It will no longer be possible for me to give so much of my time and energies to the charities and issues for which I care so deeply. But I know this important work will go on in the trusted hands of others, 